to me as a data scientist yes and uh, it is all because of uh, 360 digit emg thank you thank you so much so there are a few questions uh, sarjanya for you so that our students understand on how to prepare well yeah and how to successfully get into the field of data science yeah sure. first question is um despite being from teaching background you have successfully transitioned yourself into the field of data science it's not an easy thing at all yeah and and i've seen you closely work and then i've seen your dedication levels etc which were very high always so can you help us understand and how was your journey like from transitioning from teaching field into becoming a successful data scientist yeah thanks for that and sure uh, so as you all know uh, i have worked as an assistant professor at ps university bangalore and that's the start of my career of uh, after my mtech in uh, uh, cad cam and automation field Uh, so as you told uh, it was total transition uh, for me and uh, they have been put up many questions in linkedin as well uh, asking for how this is possible and the first thing that helped me is like being in teaching field uh, as you know it's a regular day to base learning process so how much ever we teach to students based on their doubts we go uh, for the research so my interest for research and uh, learning new aspects helped in that and first thing uh, when we got to transfer to hyderabad uh, based on my husband's placement at deloitte uh, so that is where i have checked for a uh, best institute where i can go with so i have first thing i have checked for is the curriculum and then the trainers and the qualification of the trainers so getting to know about you sharath and uh, nikhil so far the trainers who are very well qualified and uh, yeah that is the one thing which i have uh, made my decision to join at 360 dg tmg and uh, yes it proved to be a very right decision so being uh, having dedication from my end or hard work fr uh, from my end is not alone sufficient uh, to put forward in that particular uh, career path and so a lot of guidance and uh, additional classes that were taken by you are the one that uh, really uh, help us laid that path so as you know if it is only attending the classroom sessions uh, that would end up with learning certain part of data science which we we can also find in the online sources nowadays but uh, having the practical orientation so as 360 dg tmg is uh, directly in relation to inno data techs one of the analytics based firm so that is where we got into contact with colleagues of inno data techs and uh, whatever the live projects that were taking part in that particular company uh, we were able to Uh, directly get involved. Yeah, yeah. So I, that was my second question, actually, Sarjanya. Okay. So you worked as an intern as well, right? Yes. And yes. Uh, how did this internship that you have taken up with Inno Data Tech actually help you? Yeah, it helped me a lot uh, because uh, hands-on is more important. Uh, even though we got trained in the theoretical concepts of data science so as you know theoretical concepts we can learn from any source nowadays uh, any online source nowadays but getting into practical hands on experience so uh, not at all being aware of any software domain words i can say in the initial state where i am it's all uh, mechanical domain and automation uh, uh, it's my previous domain so as you know right from the pickle files or whatever the other installations the, that would be needed generally in case so all that we will be getting to know only if we do a, do the work practically so uh, yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. nitin sir really guided us in that so after the class work says suppose 7 to 9 am is the batch where i started with and i used to stay there at institute till 5 pm so as i left my job and came to work like uh, i have lot of i have spent a uh, complete time so that's one suggestion i could give uh, it's not the training sake you're sparing certain time or uh, really able to uh, spend some time over the field i can say like uh, in the engineering terms uh, civil or <laughs> mechanical engineers what the time they spend uh, spend on field is important they term <laughs> so same way here uh, getting into projects as many as you could uh, getting into contact with uh, more people like what sort of work they were doing so all this were possible only when we stay there and work with uh, colleagues absolutely sarjanya so this is one key thing which sarjanya is telling everyone that if you don't have uh, a job if you're not working or if you're a fresher 
as opposed to just attending the training and going away stay back sit down and work throughout so that your learning will amplify absolutely and thank you so much sarjania once again for your time and this has been a precious feedback that you have given to all of our students to scale into the field of data science thank you once again well thank you so much and uh, i really wish all the best uh, to all who are aspiring data scientists uh, whatever the domain you were uh, earlier working with yes it is uh, definitely possible you can do better in data science field uh, because data science as you know it's not is constrained to one particular domain so even i when i got into capgemini in my initial days uh, i have got a project from data mining side where uh, the knowledge of mechanical background really helped in that particular project so i have seen that live instances whatever the other branches also uh, yes you can aspire to become a data scientist absolutely being from mechanical background and being from uh, you know education background transitioning into the field of data science is in itself a big thing and you have successfully achieved that thanks to your commitment and all yeah, the sojinya for your career Yeah, thank you so much, Barney, and uh, I really thank one more time uh, on this particular platform uh, to all my trainers, uh, Barney, Sharat, Nitin, and Nikhil, uh, who all guided us uh, in leading successful projects. And uh, yeah, for all the mentorship and uh, guidance, thank you.